What is up guys, Jake here with our next Rival Kingdoms video and I apologize for my absence the last few days on this channel. Uh, been super busy. Uh, had my oldest daughter all week, uh, you know, for summers out, school's out, so I had her uh, just spend some time with her while I could and when I'm short on time, unfortunately this is the channel that is going to suffer. Uh, I have upgraded to Stronghold 8, haven't done anything else with it though, uh, no new buildings or upgrades yet, just getting started. Uh, but we just want to go over some of the update notes, uh, this is probably late for some of you guys, some of you might not know. Um, new update come out and they've got daily missions now which is pretty cool each day you have to uh, you get three attacks you know on harder and harder bases uh, it's kind of strange the bases that there are I don't know if it's just randomly pulled from uh, player bases or what they're, they're sort of uh, it's not something like a dev would set up I wouldn't think uh, some of them are pretty weird looking but each day you can only use like Monday's fire day Tuesday's lightning day Wednesday's nature day uh, Thursday ice Friday death uh, you can only use those ancients, so it sort of forces you outside of the box of uh, what you're used to. Maybe you have to use an ancient that you've never used before, or an attack strategy, sort of playing with composition. So that's probably why they're doing it, just to uh, force people to experiment with different compositions. But it's pretty cool. Usually you get quite a bit of gold for it, and if you beat all three of them, you get a uh, special chest. You know, And then you can get uh, you know, different things, but you can also get... Uh, these epic ancients that are only available from these uh, for completing these so there's like new ancients I uh, don't know a lot about them yet haven't looked into it much uh, but that's the only place you can get those so it's definitely worth doing uh, and again something just a little different and fun um, a few things did change on the game which is going to change a few of the uh, ways we attack uh, soldiers got a damage and health increase uh, which now like their DPS is is higher than that of a warden, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, uh, but it is what it is because the warden's uh, damage got a little decrease. Uh, the mauler got a big uh, health increase, which is good. They are much more viable now. You can put them out front as a tank, uh, and you're going to have a little bit more success with that. So make sure you check maulers out if you've sort of written them off like I had. Uh, Paladin got health and damage slightly decreased, so they're more of just a healing class now than they were before, in my opinion. I think before they could they could do a lot more. Now you really just need one of them or so to, to keep some troops healed up. Uh, Raider, I don't even have them unlocked yet, but they get a damage increase, and obviously Skywatcher don't. No longer causes continuous damage to unit, uh, but base damage increased. Uh, so... Uh, let's see, individual tournament tiers. I don't know if you guys have done the individual tournament yet, so, yet or not, but they are pretty cool. And you can, you know, go through and just use your attacks like normal. Now that's going to be a little bit more fair. Uh, it's going to be three stronghold uh, ranges. You know, it's going to be like, the. You, it's not going to be so, so far outside of your level. Uh, stronghold 5 and 6, Stronghold 7, 8, and 9 which are together. Uh, stronghold 10, 11, 12 are together, and Stronghold 13, 14, and 15 are together. So, uh, going to be a little bit more fair, and at the higher end, uh, you guys got a boost on your reward, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Kingdom Raids for Sword League and above are now, you have to have 10 members, okay, to, to get the war started. So, or 10 non-squire members. So, you've got to, before, you know, we even did one, I think, uh, was like eight people when we were first getting started. Uh, you can't do that anymore. Of course, that might have been down in uh, the first league. I can't remember. But anyways, just be aware that you need that. Uh, weekly quest, uh, start from next week. Weekly quest will be available each week uh, over the course of the following weeks. Each week, the quests are themed. They have three different difficulty levels, easy, medium, and hard. All old and new player in Rival Kingdoms will have the chance to win amazing prizes. So that's pretty cool. These guys are really trying to keep uh, just things for you to do in the game. You know, that's one thing that I think a lot of people have complained about for a long time in Clash of Clans is that they just, you know, they, it needs that new the thing to keep people logging on every day. You know, especially for us war guys, uh, it gets it gets more. I mean, some people really enjoy farming. Some people don't. Don't. Some people love pushing. Some people don't. Uh, but we need something uh, and a different game style than just the war as much as we love it we only get to do it every other day so uh, i think this game is really trying to step up and keep that going for everybody uh ancients fixed a few bugs where ancients start with one mana instead of original design of zero mana uh offensive spell damage increase 
Healing spell effect on ancients decrease. That's interesting. Freeze, stun, confuse spell, and other control spells rebalance. Doesn't only really say what, but just rebalance. And battle boosters. Fire elemental booster no longer drop from relic chest and instead drop from the daily campaign elemental chest. So note that you can't get those from the regular chest anymore. Uh, ice elemental, nature elemental, and lightning, lightning elemental added as boosters. These drop from their... Um, you know, daily quest where you can get them, and death knights added as boosters. These drop from the uh, daily quest as well. So a lot of stuff to do with that daily quest. They're really pushing to uh, get people to do that. So make sure that you're checking those out if you haven't already. Uh, and again, like I said, they, they some of the bases have really good, um, really good, uh, you know, gold rewards. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I've got to sort of get you guys see here. I'm sort of failing on some tax. I got to get my my game together. I haven't had uh, you know as much time to play this lately, and I've got to get back into it to where my attacks are a little bit stronger. Play with some different army compositions. So if you guys have some that maybe you haven't seen me try or haven't seen me do that you're having a lot of success with, uh, throw them my way. You know, I'm hopefully going to get a little bit stronger here once I uh, max out this stronghold eight and start upgrading. I'm going to get my uh, economy stuff first, but then start upgrading some of my troop. Uh, portals i think i can get upgraded stuff like that uh, and then obviously when i get my blacksmith upgraded to start actually adding levels to my troops i think i'll see a pretty big increase as well there uh, someone told me today that the fire dragon uh, was pretty powerful as well and i've not seen that i don't know if that's just a chest that i haven't got lucky enough to get yet uh, or what the situation is there but uh, let me know also that in the comments uh, below thank you guys for the suggestions on the names i think i've got one picked out one of y'all suggestions uh but there was a lot of good ones uh, again i wanted to keep the name sort of generic to where you know who knows what what games i'll be playing in the future and i don't have to make a new youtube channel every time i do that uh, for some of you guys that just enjoy my stuff enjoy the, the style that i bring to uh to commentary to, to games uh you know maybe you'll, you'll follow me from game to game so that'll be cool uh, and we'll have a good time along the way, hopefully playing, you know, having a chance to play with you guys together. Um, I've gone back and forth on whether I should do a Bindle uh, Rival Kingdoms chat, just like an open one like I did for One Hive uh, raids, you know, just for, for Clash of Clans. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. I don't know if there's a, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of demand or interest in something like that. But if there is, I'll absolutely do it. Uh, I've thought about it, just haven't done it yet. Uh, so let me know in the comments below on that as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.